Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is Infrared. Um, I said in my previous video I was going to go ahead and do a Mo Creatures mod video. And I think I'm going to do that right now. Um, let's start with the basics. Mo Creatures is a mod that just kind of adds a little bit more spice and variety to the already vast Minecraft. Uh, first and foremost, it adds uh, different mobs, different neutral, hostile uh, mobs. Uh, you can check it up, check it out on the forums and see the Mo uh, Creatures page and see exactly what it adds. Um, I won't be able to show you all of them in this video because some of them require me just to get lucky while digging as, you know, others are just very plentiful. So, we're going to start off with the horses. They did add horses in the game, and the horses are able to be mounted. You can mount these horses, ride them around, and they are much faster than on foot. Um, and they differ. Now, what you need to know ahead of time is that you need a few things. First and foremost, you're going to need a saddle. Now, saddles are very easy to make. I'm going to show you how to do that now with a crafting bench. Mine's in the ground. Here you go. Just like a helmet. And then you take three iron ingots... And there you go. We have a saddle. It's very easy to do. One, two, three, four, five leather. And one, two, three ingots. Um, these are different than the ones that you're going to find in dungeons. The ones that allow you to ride the pig. Um, so this is, you know, uh, unique only to this mod. So you're going to need a horse saddle first. Then you're going to need some bread. You can use wheat, but bread is actually better. Depending on the rarity of the horse... Light, you have light brown horses, you have dark brown, you have black, you have unicorn, and you have pegasus. Those are the five tameable horses that spawn. Um, you know, it takes like three pieces of bread for you to uh, help tame a light brown, and then it just goes up with, with the rarity of the horse. Now, by rarity, um, it says on the forums that there's a 4% chance within any pack to have a unicorn spawn. I have five unicorns, so I think it's a little bit greater than that, or I just have incredible luck. Um, black horses, they're another horse. Those are rarer than the other two, the light brown and dark brown one, and it has an increased speed. Now, um, I'm going to go in here and show you what the horses look like. They're going to get a little bit loud, so I adjusted my vol volume ahead of time. Alright, I'll talk about this one a little bit later. Alright, this one right here. This is a light brown horse. These are very common. Alright, let me get out of here because they're loud as hell. Okay. With some peace and quiet. Alright, this is a light brown horse. This is a typical default stock horse. You're going to find plenty of these. They just, they're all around. Um... So, we're, you know, I don't really need to stay on this very long. You have a dark brown version. Let me go show you that one as well. Alright, there we go. Dark brown one is over here. The dark brown ones are a little bit more rare. They're a little bit faster and a little bit harder to tame. But it's pretty much the same thing. Um, as for the black horses, they are much rarer. Then the light brown and dark brown one, they are much faster, and they are harder to tame. When I say harder to tame, um, when you go up to a horse and you put a saddle on it and you give it some food, all the food does is it kind of calms them down a little bit, and it makes it to where they're a little bit easier to tame. Um, but it's not never going to, you can get lucky and hop on it the very first time, and it doesn't boot you off. Now, when you try to tame a horse... You have to, in air quotes, break it in. Which means you have to keep trying to attempt to ride it multiple times. I'm going to get into that a little bit later and actually show it. Um, but let's talk about the other, other horses. You have Pegasus. This one, as you can see, has wings. And yes, it can fly. Fully controllable flight. Uh, to ascend, all you have to do is hold and jump. To go down, it kind of naturally starts to head towards the ground by itself if you just don't do anything. So... It's wonderful. All right. Now, the other kinds of horses that you can get, there are three other horses that you can only achieve uh, or obtain through breeding. Yes, you can breed. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what you do with breeding. 
um, breeding, you, there are some rules and guidelines that you have to follow. Um, the horses can be no more than four spaces apart from each other. And they have, you have to be at least eight spaces away from them, as well as they have to be eight spaces away from other horses. And it takes about a half, of, a, half a day for a horse to actually become full grown. Now in this most recent patch, from what I've noticed, they do actually spawn little baby horses. And the little baby horse, I don't know if it's true, but from what I've seen, that little baby horse will tell you what it's going to grow up to be. Um, and the way you breed, you have to feed the horses to start off with. You have to either use mushroom soup or pumpkins. Um, I have very bad luck with uh, mushroom soup, but since I have a pegasus, I went ahead and took the liberty of flying around and scouting some pumpkins ahead of time. So, on to the breeding. I need to figure out what I'm going to breed. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to just pick two at random. Whatever two are fertile. So let me feed this a pumpkin. If it accepts it and you hear a munching noise, that means he's fertile. Alright, this one is fertile. So I'm going to hopefully not kill it with an arrow. Notice how fast this this unicorn goes. Extremely fast. And it can jump that wall over there. So, I'm going to go in here and give it... Well, put it in my holding tank. Alright. Um, use some blocks because i got to get out of here. Now I'm going to go ahead and find a random a random horse, whichever one accepts it. Accepts the pumpkin. Yeah, this Nightmare accepts it. So I'm going to hop on the Nightmare. I think that's his name, Nightmare. Pretty damn sure. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to let them in there. Now, they're more than eight spaces away from everybody else. And they're eight spaces away from me, and they're less than four spaces away from each other. So I just have to let them sit there and still. You know, it takes a half a day for it to, to, to happen, so I'm just going to let them go. And I fed them both a pumpkin. Now it's just a waiting game. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take Pegasus for a little spin. And I'm going to show you how to actually tame a horse. I have to find one first. And I'm doing this in real time, and hopefully I have a little bit of luck on my side. I have a 15-minute... Uh, post time for YouTube so if I have to I'll make some edits but I hope I don't have to because I'm not that good alright come on horses and sorry about the jerkiness this is Minecraft when it loads the blocks it gets a little jerky it's not my computer I have a very good computer it runs every other game at insane frames but Minecraft just chews it up and spits it out Alright, come on. Any other day, there's just packs and packs and packs of horses. Well, you can at least admire the, uh, the landscape. Don't you love the topography of Mindscape? Or not Mindscape, Minecraft. <laughs> uh, it's early. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning, East Coast. Decided I'd make an early video. My girlfriend woke up to go to work, and I can't get back to sleep. Come on. This is hysterical. I'm going to end up having to edit this. Oh, well. Come on, horsies. Those are lions. Lions, if you put uh, the game on pe anything but peaceful, the lions will attack. Um, and if you have a lot of grass around your stables and you don't have it gated off, the lions will kill your horses. So you need to make sure that you build a proper stable. Otherwise, bears, lions, any other kind of asshole creature uh, during the night will kill your uh, horses. So be uh, careful about that. Um, they added birds in the game. There's like five different kinds of birds, and they're assholes, they're annoying, they're loud, but they add atmosphere, so that's kind of cool. There's boars. Uh, boars are just like pigs, but these ones can kick your ass if you uh, don't pay attention. They will attack you, um, so they are aggressive. Um, during the night, that's when it gets a little bit more dicey. During the night, they've added some annoying creatures, but kind of cool, you know. Gas, oh, there we go, bunch of horses. The gas were the only creatures previously that would fly. You know, they were flying enemies. Well, they added wraiths and flame wraiths, and they're bunches of assholes. If he dies, I'm going to be pissed, but it'll be hilarious. All right, so 
what do we got to do here? We got to get some bread. And we got to get a saddle. All we do is run up without the lag. Throw the saddle on. And feed him. I want to feed him. He's a brown horse. Three pieces of bread. One, two, three. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier. About breaking them in. So I go up and I right click him. And look, he just threw me off. It's on peaceful, so I'm going to regain my health. That's a good thing. I recommend if you are going to go ahead and try to get some horses, put it on peaceful. It just makes it a world easier. All right. Kicked me off again. And we just got to keep doing it. And eventually, like right now, now I can control him. Now he's my bitch. Um, it gets worse. If, if you're trying to, to mate or breed horses, and you go ahead and you have a roofing over you, um, it will knock you through the roof if the roof isn't, isn't high enough. It'll send you soaring through the air and through a roof. So keep that in mind. Don't do what I did. Don't be an idiot like I did. I didn't really expect to really care about horse breeding. So I built this, and it gets risky. So, like, okay, there you go. You guys can see it now. You can see a little horse right there. That little horse right there will eventually grow full size. It looks just to be a gener like a generic horse, but that's fine. Um, the different horse breeds that you can get, and there is a genetic, like a genetic sequence, or I don't know what it is, on the Mo Creatures forums, which I'm going to have linked in the description. If you read there, it'll tell you what uh, the genetic number is for all of these horses, and you know, if you rate a rare one with a rare one, like I got my nighttime, my nighttime, I got on my first shot, shot. I was very lucky. I made it a nighttime, or not a nighttime, a pe my Pegasus, this Pegasus right here with a unicorn, and I got a nighttime. The nighttime is extremely fast, and it's fire resistant. Um, I I don't know how where that's ever going to come in use, but it is. Um, if this is too dark, when I finish recording, I'm going to actually add in a little bit of light here. So if it, for some reason, just flicks on, it's bright, you're welcome. So, let me go ahead and put this back. I don't really care about that horse down there. It's of no use to me. So let me just land this and go ahead and keep talking about the other horse types. Um, so we have this, and it's growing. And that little fella's growing in there. So we just keep our distance and continue on. Um, the other kind of horse that they have is a pack horse. If you combine a... Is my elevator... No, my elevator broke. Fantastic. Um, if you combine a chest, which you all know how to make, and it's, you know, pretty much essential for Minecraft, if you combine a chest and you use a shovel to open it, you can actually have a treasure chest, like a mobile pack mule. So it's it's very useful to have. I haven't had any luck with getting one yet, but eventually I will. Um, and they have the best and, you know, baddest mount, which is the rarest. And you can only get it through breeding, which is Dark Pegasus. Dark Pegasus brings the best of all of those worlds together. So you might want to go ahead and look for that. Uh, or look into breeding that. It is a pack mule. It is a uh, fire-resistant horse. And it's also a flying mount. And it's incredibly fast. And it's black. You know, everybody likes black horse, black beauty, and black makes you go faster. Ask the guys in Kenya. That's not racist. That's a stereotype. Um, what else? I guess I'm going to go ahead and make some diamond armor, because I have a stockpile of diamonds. And I'm going to put this on a harder difficulty, and I'm going to go out and I'm going to fight. I'm going to show you some of the different creatures that they have available in this game. So let's just make a full set of diamond armor. Um... I'm going to make a, a, a helmet that has a lamp on top of it so it's not so dark. Um, one of the add-ons, one of the mods, uh, I guess, that I use is uh, the miner's lamp. It It's a lifesaver. I, I really cannot say or explain how nice it is to have a portable, like,